I recently visited Comrie Primary School, who have joined up with John Castles from the, the Wild Hearth Bakery in Comrie, and they're growing heritage wheat, wheat, which they will harvest and mill, and John is going to teach them the science behind making bread. And at Comrie Primary School, they've already taught them to make soup. They do it every week. And then they got out in the woods for an outdoor learning session with a flask of soup that they made themselves. And these kind of fabulous things are happening right across my constituency and right across Scotland. And what I'm describing here in a tiny way is curriculum for excellence in action. The head teacher of the Comrie Primary School tells me that she loves it because it gives her the freedom and the flexibility to teach her children holistically based on the principle of delivering enthused, engaged, well-rounded young people who can think critically and practically for themselves. And they do. When I was there, the school eco group brought to my attention that the use of single-use plastic dinner trays are being used to serve them lunch, and they want it stopped. So I put on notice to side contracts. I will be in touch, but that's a whole different debate on another day. So to the Cabinet Secretary, I say this. For all the pressure you are going to come under, and you will, for all the howls of protest that are going to come from those benches and those benches, I would say to you, stick with it. Be strong and be bold. Because where this country leads right now, others will follow. Our education system is going through a transition, but so are every one of us. We should all embrace the fact that we are learning new stuff every day. Learning never stops. And education isn't just about the three R's or academic qualifications. It's about teaching young people who they are, finding the ways that engage their critical thinking, their analysis and their ability to problem solve. It's giving them practical skills to go into society equipped to take on whatever life's going to throw at them. And let's face it, the last year has thrown something significant at them. And when Scotland takes the decision, which it will, to become an independent country, vibrant thinking, entrepreneurial, ambitious young people will be the engine room of that success. And my purpose for being in this chamber is to help make sure that that vision becomes a reality. Thank you.